Hello, my name is Mohamed Hussainovich, also known as Mohamed Hussain Ayhoti, and I'm an ethnic Albanian that originally comes from Brooklyn, New York. And my parents, not originally from the United States, were immigrants from Montenegro. Uh, they came from an ethnic Albanian household, and they moved to the United States to find a better life. And as for me, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and then eventually I grew up around the city, and then I moved up to upstate to find a better education for myself. And right now I'm 18 years old and I'm pursuing the cybersecurity field because I feel that it is necessary to do so to help people on the internet and to establish uh, protection in the internet of things. And as a result, I have been in contact with USCS, which is a uh, charter high school near my area. And I've taken multiple college credits around two universities. And already I'm ahead of my league and I am pursuing my education as much as I can. But the main thing that made me select the cybersecurity industry was its focus on protecting uh, the IoT, which is the Internet of Things. And the Internet of Things can be anything like a smartphone or a computer or even a router, that is, anything that connects to the Internet. And in this aspect, we can really protect anything that we get access to. That can be, you know, a car such as a Tesla, who's run on electricity, we can even control a lot of electronic equipment within that car. So if we protect the IoT, we're able to protect almost every aspect of our life. And in that way, we can protect the world from cyber criminals and even terrorists who in the future can violate people's rights and also in turn violate our safety. So this is why I want to be in the cybersecurity field so that I can protect people in the long run and help those in need. The CCT training given to me by EC Council really drastically helped me in every aspect in the foundational skills of cybersecurity. This is due to the fact that they introduced me to incident response plans and even detection points that we find within our um, router and in the network as a whole. And they taught me a lot about vulnerabilities and how can we access vulnerabilities to detain the problem at hand or any malicious activity that we find. And also, they taught me about business continuity plans and response plans to those business continuity plans and how can we further support the company. Because as we know, assets within a company and intellectual property is very important. And once we establish that and how we can actually protect that data can be vital for many institutions around the world. And this can mean millions of dollars or even billions for certain institutions. And in this way, the EC Council um, training really did teach me about how vital information really is and that it can cost a lot of problems for a company if not assessed properly. As a whole, I can really say that the CCT exam taught me a lot about the cybersecurity domains that we need to know in, in our early career during the cybersecurity field, such as ethical hacking, SOC, uh, incident response plans, and also uh, threat intelligence. And a lot about this really does describe how we can really uh, formulate our early steps of our careers. Due to the fact that many of these ideas can really teach us uh, a lot about the cybersecurity field. Uh, for example, white hat hackers are good hackers and they usually uh, can be used to help the company to find vulnerabilities and threats so that they can um, protect their vital assets. While black hat hackers are actually the bad hackers per se, who try to establish control within the network and gain access unethically. And overall, we can really say that responding to events and analyzing events can really help the company find vulnerabilities and patch the vulnerabilities within the network to protect the company's vital assets. Also, I have to say that EC Council and the CCT uh, program really did provide a, a lot of hands-on activities and labs and simulations to help their scholars in the long run. For example, they provide 80 plus labs, mostly contained within the Linux and Kali Linux platform. And, and in this aspect, it really provided me with the Kali Linux command line and how we can utilize it to gain an insight into the network. For example, we use Netstat to find the statistical information of the network as a whole through our IP and other MAC addresses. And also we can use Nmap to map out a lot of different aspects of the network and find different vulnerabilities within the system. A lot of these tools that were used during the simulations and labs really did provide a real-world activity so that their scholars can succeed in the long run. 
Also, I can really say that my favorite part about the lab activities associated with the CCT program are the ones pertaining towards the Kali Linux uh, interface and command lines. This is due to the fact that there's over a thousand different programs and tools which can be used for the network for a non-ethical hacker and also as an ethical hacker. And by using these tools, we can really gain an insight about uh, black box testing and white box testing. And these ways of testings can really help an ethical hacker uh, assess vulnerabilities and find the overall uh, hotspots of the company. And this can, in the long run, help the vital information and protect the business continuing program and help the company as a whole. The CTF style and challenges that were associated with the CCT program really did help me assess my learning curve in the long run, mainly due to the fact that the cybersecurity field really is a puzzle. And sometimes you'll run through challenges and sometimes you'll never know how to solve it. But it's very important that you know that it's not easy and that we can get through it and find the vulnerabilities and assess them properly and send them over to the SOC. This is very important as it can really give us an insight and be humble with ourselves and find different problems. And sometimes we're not able to find all problems and it's okay as long as we work our best and find the analytics and apply them so they can protect the company as much as possible. The CCT program really was able to develop my skills, my technicalities, rather than the theories. This is due to the fact that um, the CCT program really taught me a lot of different aspects about tools and operating systems and also how hardware works in correspondence to software. And this is very important because technicality deals with these different aspects of software and hardware and also tools that can be used uh, such as Linux, Kali Linux and other certain programs like CMD and Windows and all of these really do combine towards technicality rather than just the theory because they really do help you in uh, the job environment because you would use these programs a lot. The CCT program really did give me a boost of confidence because throughout this rigorous course and this program as a whole I was able to obtain a lot of knowledge and I was also able to have a lot of technical skills because when I read the slides and did the simulations and labs, I really felt a lot better because I felt prepared and ready to take the exam on the exam day. It really boosted my, my self-esteem, my confidence because I want to now take more advanced courses in the future. It really inspired me to pursue my cybersecurity field and also um, acknowledge myself because you know what? I did it and that you are able to do it yourself if you give it a try. Because some things in life don't look how they seem to be. And you should give it a try because EC Council really does provide a lot of different opportunities for people who are in the entry field. During my pursuit for knowledge of cybersecurity, I must say that while taking a lot of different entry level certifications such as CompTIA Security Plus, uh, a lot of different EC Council exams as well, and Cisco exams, I must say that the EC Council examination is a lot more different because it provides a lot more flexibility in terms of scheduling. Because the EC Council does not require you to be physically on the exam day, it actually uh, receives an option for you so that you may obtain it online and take the examination online. This is great for a lot of people such as myself who have a very um, tight schedule and would like to take the examination on a specific time in a specific environment. This is great and I highly recommend it for all people who want to take the exam. On the other hand, on the examination day, I have to say that the performance-based examination was quite organized and it was flawless in nature and a lot of the information was new and not outdated. On the other hand, a lot of different certifications I've taken in the past had a lot of outdated data and was quite broad and unorganized. But I have to say, EC Council really takes this one and it's one of the most organized exams I have taken, I must say. And I recommend taking it in a online environment because that's probably one of the best environments to take it in. And I really enjoyed it and I would like to take another one in the future. It's definitely a plus for EC Council and the CCT examination. Going further, it is really stated and really enforced that the CCT's main, main feature were the labs and simulations, once again, because this aspect cannot be fulfilled any more further. Because I took many other certifications and such as Cisco electrified before, I have to say that CCT really wraps up a lot of the information properly and it provides a lot more information than other certifications. And that being said, a lot of the slides also supports the labs and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do the labs properly. 
And these were very successful and it was really helped me in the long run and I really appreciate EC Council for this feature. In summary, after the ECT examination, there was an immediate impact because after I take the exam, I had a lot more job offers than ever before. Just at the age of 18, I was able to have a lot of job offers from LinkedIn and other platforms as well. On the other hand, I have not gained any other salaries, but I've had a lot of job offers more recently and it exploded drastically and exponentially. So I really recommend this platform in EC Council and CCT because it really does change your perspective and your resume as a whole. In conclusion, in signing off by Muammar Husseinovich, I really have to give my gratitude towards EC Council because without these opportunities that were overflowing towards my path, I wouldn't have been able to make it. And I would like to thank my professor, Harun Shekhar and UASCS for the endless support in this journey. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll be able to obtain more certifications. Thank you.